In the new 2021.5 version, ZBrush introduced contrast brushes. Now, there are two different contrast brushes. Uh, first one, if you will press here B, C, and then you have one basically which is contrast delta, and then there is a contrast target. Now, what does these, uh, these two uh, contrast brushes actually do? So suppose if you are creating some sort of a model, a mesh, and then you add some sculpting details like wrinkles, scales, and some kind of noise on your mesh. So, and then later on you realize that you didn't sculpt these uh, those wrinkles deep, uh, like deeply enough. So if you need to enhance those, you can use any one of these two to enhance the details of those uh, wrinkles or scales or noise for any any purpose, for 3D printing, for details, for the rendering. So the contrast brushes makes it possible to focus on specific area to heighten your sculpt details. So specific depths can be applied on an individual basis and even be adjusted in real time, giving true freedom to experiment. So contrast brushes just don't uh, like doesn't ju uh, just bump the details. It can also apply to smooth a surface back towards the original state before any sculpting details were applied. So it's a very strong new addition to the brushes. Apart from the contrast brushes, in the deformation, there is a contrast slider as well. Now, what this do is that the contrast slider provides you with the ability to globally enhance all the sculpting details. Okay, so let's uh, try the contrast brushes first. So we have here B, C, Y, okay, which is contrast delta. So contrast delta over here, what it, this brush do is that it keep adding the contrast to your mesh just like the clay, clay buildup tool do so what we uh, uh, i have this model over here and suppose if i'll take the contrast delta and start uh, drawing over here so you can see all these detail are now becoming stronger and popping up so as i'm adding here it just keep on adding over and over again just like the clay build up tool when you keep on adding and adding details it keep on enhancing that so i stop and when i add it adds here so you can see that it completely enhanced uh, all those strokes and made it more stronger here okay if i want to go back so what i can do i can press alt on my keyboard and draw over it again and what it will do it will go back to the original state where it was before so you have to be careful you don't have to go all the way back so maybe you can introduce the intensity or just apply a little strokes over here so you don't go beyond that limit or something okay let me undo this whole thing here now let's go to b c Z, which is the contrast target. Now, what does the contrast target do is that it, uh, whenever you're uh, adding the contrast, it will add, and when you will stop, it will stop, unlike the contrast delta. Okay, so if I'm enhancing here, so it's done, stopped. Okay, now if I will enhance more, I'm done, and now it will not add over here. Again, I'm just keep on, you know, moving my mouse around it uh, and I keep on drawing. It's not adding more detail. It just stopped there. Now, when I will start over again, now it will start giving you the detail. While the contrast delta, what it will do is that if you will keep on uh, stroking over your uh, details, it will keep on adding more contrast towards it. And contrast target will only give the contrast one time to your stroke and when you stop it okay then you can add more details again so
So stop, give again, stop, give again, and with a contrast target. So now let's go back here and let's see the contrast slider in the deformation. So if I will increase this and keep on increasing, and you can see that it is giving me a global contrast to my character here. Now, if I will keep on reducing this. It will smooth, it will start smoothing this and I can even smooth it more and you can see that it's becoming more smoother and smoother. So this is how I can make the whole thing smooth and I can re restart using my contrast target and you know enhance only the parts that I want to target to enhance. Okay. So I think uh, it, uh, it requires more intensity because it is reduced here. Okay, and you can see that how it is bringing the details back. Now I'm using contrast delta, so I have to click and keep on clicking here so that because I cannot overdraw here because it will just give me one one at a time or, or with one stroke. A detail then I have to stop and add it if I will use BCY which is the contrast Delta then I can keep on you know uh, moving my mouse over here and this keep on, it will keep on adding the detail so it's a very strong tool and especially if you have all the clothes wrinkles and if you're working with the dynamics and you are adding more clothes uh, wrinkles here so for that purpose, it is heavily used here. For example, let's do one thing here. Let me just go and uh, let me load. Let's let's do one thing. Let's uh, open a new document here. Fresh start, load tool. Let's load Julie here. And I will go to the sub tool and I will go to her swimsuit. And let's go to the dynamics here. And then I'll take a cloth a hook brush here. Okay. And start, you know, putting the cloth wrinkles here. Okay, or maybe I can also choose cloth nudge. So it will, you know, nudge some cloth areas like and give me some fine wrinkles. Suppose, oops, I think I changed the material. Okay, let's go back here. Let's change it to base material, basic material back. So, you will notice that it had applied the wrinkles over here, but what if these wrinkles are not strong enough for me? Okay, I can go here and I can choose a smooth cloth brush okay to smooth the my uh, these wrinkles okay but you can see that let me do one thing here let me press shift for the smooth cloth and reduce the intensity of it a bit so that it won't affect a lot now you know it just removes those details the fine details of the clothes wrinkles I which I really want to add here. So for this purpose, I can go to my uh, BCY, the flow, uh, the like the contrast delta, and start brushing over the wrinkles. And you can notice that the wrinkles will start getting 
more enhanced here. I can also mask this area and you know I can only work on the mask area. So it's totally it's up to you if you want to apply the whole thing or that. Okay. And you can do a lot with this contrast. So a lot of possibilities with this. And I hope you will be able to figure out what are the more uh, like the creative like possibilities with these. And it will it will surely help you a lot to create a lot of different kind of uh, like uh, details and sculpting details and you know wrinkles, uh, noises, so those kind of things. So I hope you have enjoyed my video. So if you have enjoyed my video, please click on the like button and I will be uploading new lessons, tutorials, live sessions and full courses along with other useful videos soon. So don't forget to click on the bell icon so you can get all the notifications that I will uh, of my tutorials, which I will upload and the videos. So I will highly appreciate it will give shout out to my channel on your social media account, which will really help me to get more subscriber and this will motivate me to create more content for you all so guys thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourself till we meet for the next lesson